As Billy, Kate, and Gizmo headed for the back door, the ringleader, Stripe, stepped into the lobby. He wanted some more food. The hungry gremlin searched the candy counter in frustration, but there wasn't a crumb to be found. Suddenly, something caught his eye. In the department store window across the street was a large display counter loaded with candy. In a flash, the greedy gremlin was out of the theater and into the store. Meanwhile, Kate led Billy behind the movie screen to the theater boiler room. The building's furnace is in here. Billy found the fuel line and turned it on. If I can fill the place with gas, we can cause an explosion. Gas hissed quickly into the room. Even Gizmo had to cover his mouth to keep from breathing the fumes. Billy backed out of the room, shutting an old rag in the door. I'll use this as a fuse to ignite the gas. That'll give us time to get out of here. Billy lit the rag. Head for the exit, Kate, fast! At that very moment, the movie projector ran out of film. The gremlins were annoyed when the picture went off. But the next moment, they howled in rage when they saw Billy and Kate's silhouettes moving across the blank screen. Kate froze. Oh no, they can see us from the other side. Like a hundred banshees, the gremlins raced up onto the theater stage. They tore right through the movie screen with their sharp claws. Billy grabbed Kate's hand. We've got to get out of here. The theater's about to explode. As Kate pushed open the back door leading to the alley, a gremlin leaped at Billy's leg. With a kick, he shook the creature off and dove for the exit. Billy struggled to close the exit door, pushing against the combined strength of the gremlin horde. With a final shove, the door clicked shut. Ah. Quick, Kate, we've got them trapped. Pull the door while I find a board or something. Kate leaned against the exit as the gremlins pounded from within. Billy grabbed up a two by four and wedged it against the alley door. We've done it, now run! As the gremlins howled and screeched inside, Billy and Kate raced across the street. Duck behind this parked car, Kate. The theater's gonna blow! A deafening blast shook the area as the theater exploded. Kate looked up to see the building engulfed in flames. We did it, Billy! We destroyed every last one of them! Billy stood in triumph as he watched the theater burn. Now the town is safe. All the gremlins are gone. Then something down the block caught Gizmo's eye. He tugged frantically at Billy's jacket. Billy turned. What is it, Giz? Something wrong? Oh, no, it's Stripe. He's still alive. Kate's smile faded. He must have left the theater while we were backstage. Then it looks like our fight isn't over yet. We've got to go after him, Kate. He's the last gremlin. That was the end of book four of Gremlins. But the fight's not over yet, and Stripe's far from defeated. Discover the exciting, action-packed conclusion in book five, The Last Gremlin.